Batman Arkham City is the sequel to Arkham Asylum. This was the very first time I've ever got to play one of these Batman games. As I mentioned before, I don't own any of the next-gen system consoles, except the Wii and the Wii U. And since my computer could barely run Pong, I never got to experience any of these games in the series. But playing it now, I really feel like I missed out on something, because I can say with certainty this is one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. Words cannot express how much I enjoyed this title. From the opening sequences to the very end, it was a thrill ride that never slowed down. Now the game starts up with Bruce Wayne being captured and thrown into a dilapidated city that they call Arkham City. Apparently the authorities have walled off a part of Gotham that is taken over by the criminals and just let them have their fun with it. They keep them walled up in that hellish area. I love the way the story is played out. It didn't just feel like we were watching a story, it felt like we were really controlling the story. Now anyways, you escape and get a spare bat suit, and you take on the criminals in the city. The storyline will take you all over, where you're going to be battling the Penguin, helping your friend Catwoman, stopping the Joker, and many other classic Batman villains. I love the overall scope of the entire story. What I really liked was that you didn't have to play the previous game to understand what was going on, which is very helpful to me since I've never played the previous game. I never felt lost at any time. Now most of the time you play as Batman, but there are sections where you'll play like as Catwoman. While these sections were somewhat brief, they were enjoyable nonetheless. The city itself is an open world for you to explore, and I loved exploring it! It was the perfect size, not too large so it feels like a chore to get from one place to another, and not too small. It was an enormous joy to grapple from one building to another and fly around the city. It was just fun to do that, let alone play the missions in the game. The touchpad has a map on it if you ever get lost, but I found the on-screen compass more helpful, since I didn't like looking down at my screen all the time to make sure I was going in the right direction. In fact, the touchpad could be used in other ways, some more useful than others. Switching between gadgets was easy, and I liked the hacky minigame. The problems arise though when the creator is trying to get too clever, like when you have to hold up your gamepad and you have to look around the room using the gamepad. It felt unnecessary and I tended to use the analog stick to move around the camera to find the objects that we're supposed to scan. However, since these times that you needed to do this were a bit rare, it's a very small complaint. Now Batman's going to have to fight some of the bad guys he comes in contact with. Fighting in the game was very simple to do, yet it could be a bit tricky. Sometimes simple punches wouldn't do the trick. You may have to stun the person first, or you may need to do a counterattack to get the best hit in. If you get enough punches in, you'll fill up your bat gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the full power of the bat suit and use the stored up energy to easily beat down the enemies. Now, sometimes it's not as simple as coming up to a bunch of bad guys and knocking them out. If they have guns, you're going to need to be more careful. You can survey the area looking for bad guys using an x-ray mode called detective mode. It was very helpful when I needed to swoop down from above and knock out a guy without the rest of his crew knowing. These sections where you have to strategically take out guys were not only fun, but in multiple places of the game it can be really entertaining to find different ways to take out the goons. In addition to the main storyline, there are plenty of side quests for Batman to handle. From finding a murderer or destroying canisters of poison to solving the Riddler's riddles. In fact, the Riddler has put out a lot of trophies for you to find. They'll be littered around the city and the buildings that you come in contact with, and a few that you're going to have to go out of your way to find. Now, the Riddler also has challenges for you to complete as well if you want to. This version has all the downloadable content that has been released for the series on the other platforms. Batman Arkham City for the Wii U was a pleasant surprise. I've always heard it was a fun game, but I didn't have any experience with it. If this is an example of one of those good games that came out for another platform, I can't wait for more games to be ported to the Wii U. The graphics look great, the gameplay was fantastic and fast paced, and it was so much fun you're not going to want to stop playing even after the main storyline was done. So I think this game is absolutely worth a buy.